Have you ever wondered how to simplify tasks in Blender so they become a single click solutions? In this video I will show you how to create a simple Blender add-on just under 15 minutes. You have no Python or coding skills? Well, neither do I and guess what, you don't actually need them. All you need is a cup of coffee, Blender console and a few tips on how to copy and paste the lines of code. Sounds easy? Then let's get started. Hi everyone, my name is Lek and before we begin I just want to say I'm not a coder, my code probably sucks, but it gets the job done for me. Recently I was working on a project where I had to add very simple illumination setup to multiple 3D files, adjust the materials and then remove the setup to keep the files clean. Doing it all by hand was a nightmare, that's why I tried creating an add-in to automate the process and guess what, it worked. In this video I want to show you step by step how I did it, but if you have any other interesting content on that topic, feel free leaving it in the comments section. Now without further ado, let's just jump into it. Once we launch Blender, the easiest way to start is simply going to the scripting tab here and hitting new here so we can start working on a script. Now here we have a console window and basically everything we do in Blender is actually launching a command here. I can select this command, right click and copy it to my script window here. As you can see we also have a run script button and when I press it well we get an error and to check out what's actually cooking with Blender it's good to use the console window. Here we can see an uh, error name saying something about BPI. Well in practice when you look here we have some Python modules that are available in Blender and to execute any command we have to tell Blender to import those modules. Essentially you have to just add import BPI line here and any command you enter to the script window will be then executed. Since I wanted to create some sample environment in my scene I will now add the point lamp and again I can copy the command to my script window. I will delete the cube command and paste the add lamp command a few more times. So as you can see we can also change some of the very basic settings uh, taken from the command here. I will just change the locations of the lamps added to my scene. Now I would also like some of the basic scene settings to be applied when I run the script. So I want to enable screen space reflections and you can see I have direct command. I also want to enable the refraction. Again, I can see the command here. And I would also like to set the surface or the world strength to zero. So if I do that, just by left clicking and sliding the value down, I also have the command. So I can now simply copy this script. And when I restart Blender, go to the scripting window here and paste the script. If I just click this button here you can see everything is applied. So the red render settings are also changing just within this one click. It would be great if we could now run this entire code using just a single command from the console. To do that we have to create an operator and we are going to use one of the Python templates from here. Let's select operator simple and as you can see it doesn't look simple at all but don't worry. What I usually do is simply deleting this line of code here because we are not going to need it and here under the dev main context is where we can paste uh, our commands. So I'm going to select them, I'm going to skip the import BPI going to copy and just paste them here. Now what's really important in Python is the layout of our code so we have to add indentations to all those lines 
And what you also want to know is that with the hashes, we can disable parts of the code. So if I do it here, you can see it becomes gray. And this way we can also add some descriptions to the script so you know what's happening within it. If I now execute the script, we will have a new command registered under this name here, the default name from the operator simple template. So let's do it. So as you can see, I'm now pasting this line of code here as a command. And when I hit enter, we can see all of the new objects added to the scene as well as the render settings changing. To create a button that will execute our newly created command, I'm gonna use another Python template and it's gonna be UI panel. So you can see we get another big portion of code. Let's run the script and as you can see, uh, we now have to look for our button, but here under the BL context, we can see the scene. So everything is added under the scene properties. You can see we have our layout demo tool, same name as here, and a lot of buttons visible. So we are just gonna leave the big button with the render sign on it. You can see with the hash, it's located here. I'm gonna delete everything else and just hit run script again. So you can see we right now have just this one button. Changing the row scale, we can modify the size of the button and the description is defined by the operator. So if we go to our operator simple, this is the name that will be defining what you can see on the button. Let's now copy this part of the code and let's paste it to our panel template. What you have to do right now is linking our command with big button. So let's just select and copy it. And here let's paste it within the render um, line of code. And that already works. However, let's just clean up our code a little bit more. So let's remove those lines here since we also have them copied down below and let's move the register operations down here and stack them together. I'm gonna delete those lines of code. Now it looks much cleaner. And if we run the script, you can see the button name changed to what we have defined here, meaning our command is now running. If I click the button, you can see everything is executed as we wanted together with the render settings. To save our script as an add-in, we're gonna use another template, which is called add, -in, add object here. Um, it looks way more complex than we need. We just have to copy these uh, lines of code from here and paste them above the import BPI line somewhere else like this. You can define all, all of your add-in descriptions here. I'm gonna leave it as defaults. And if I go to text, save as, I can now save my add-in here and run it within Blender. To install your add-in, go to the added preferences, add-ins, install, and find your little add-in. Now enable it here and it just works. Okay, what we've created so far is very quick and dirty, but now let's add another button to our add-on and make it a bit cleaner. Let's now add another button to our script that will remove the light sources without touching the chair. So I'm going back to the scripting window and I'm gonna start as a, if I was creating a new script. We can use the console window to either search for a command or to modify the existing one. So I want to look for a command that will select the light sources only. You can see we have some of the commands already listed here and I'm gonna use the autocomplete option to find the command. So I'm gonna type BPI, OPS and so on. And I'm gonna press the control spacebar button to fill the rest of the command. I'm gonna type select and you can see we can choose by type select option. So I'm gonna use it 
and within the type we can see there is uh, the mesh ending so let's try using the lamp input light sorry so you can see if I execute this kind of command all of the light sources are selected for me let me copy this command to my script and let's run it if I delete the light sources here I can copy another command and paste it here and this way we already have a working script that removes all of the light sources from the scene we now have to create another operator that will link these two commands to a new button in our add-on so let's copy them let's open our add-on and let's paste the new commands before the actual panel code here now this is the point where we can't use the default names any longer in order to the second button to work so we'll have to rename a few things here within the dev main let's change this name to button 01 and let's use the same name here within the dev function again now also we have to change the name of the class let's call it add environment and let's copy the same name to the register and unregister function here or class sorry for being an amateur in coding let's now also change the command name to something more meaningful let's say choco4 and environment and let's change the label to simply and and environment let's now copy the new name of the command to the button and paste it here let's mute those lines of codes using the hashes and let's now run the script so you can see the label changed meaning it all works uh, let's now move to adding another button I'm gonna start with creating a new operator so let's select this one let's paste it here just remember to keep the correct format of your code let's cut those two lines of code and replace the existing ones removing the hashes and adding the indentations let's now change the names button 02 we also have to change the class name and register the new classes here so let's copy those lines of code paste them and let's copy the new class name and paste it here we are almost set what we have to do right now is changing the command name so let's add remove here and let's change the description to remove as well we now need to copy the button code paste it again and let's replace this command with the newly created one if I now execute the script you will see another button appearing and by clicking it I'm able to remove all of the light sources to make the final version of the add-on more user-friendly I've edited the information we have here added some hash descriptions I've also included one line of code that changes the scene settings to the default one value here and within the toolbar itself I've changed the height of the buttons removed the big button descriptions and also changed the names of the tool itself so you can see it displayed here if you want the add-on to be available under the different set of tools here if I click on it you can see we have the name changed in the console so if I change the context input to render for example 
the tool is now available here under the scene render settings. So I really hope this video was interesting and you learned something new today. Feel free letting me know what you think in the comment section and remember you can download the script I've just created in the Chocofer store together with this cool red chair. It's all for free. That's it for me today. Thanks everyone for watching and see you in another video. Bye bye.